prophet say, Kao Halal, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakak Badash. I start off and say, uh, all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, a great millstone, honor to salutation, you walk him out there laboring in his truth and sincerity without wavering. All right, and uh, as you see, the title of the lesson, you know, are you crazy? How are we not at the end? Mm -hmm. And that's like, it's self, to us, it's self evident of the times that we're in. You know, we on a, you know, on the, the job site, right? So we on the job site. So, you know, through the spirit, we were talking about some things earlier in the spirit. So, you know, say, hey, let's fire the grill up, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically, mm -hmm. hey, it's another spiritual barbecue, man. And um, again, hey, shalom, y'all, but you shy, brock a thumb. Shalom to all you brothers. We know it's a little late on the, on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. You know, brothers in the, in the South Coast, the West Coast. Yeah. You know, it's probably not as late. But um, nonetheless, you know, we, we were speaking about current events. <coughs> you know, so it's going to be uh, some, some going on the current events and the scriptures. Because all these, all that what, what's happening ties into the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You know, and that's what it is, and, and that's why we can't, we can't get a Lord no rest because we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to destroy this man and deliver us, man. You know, and as we've been saying for the longest, it's not gonna get better here. I mean, it's good for us. We yeah. we see it, we happy, we get you know, hasten in the day. Yeah. In the day. Okay. So, uh, well, you had, you had some. I had um, this article I was gonna so, go into, but yeah, yeah. So real quick, no, 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 no. Go right for yours. That, cause we're talking about prophecy and current events. This is Amos um, chapter 3, verse 7. It says, Surely the Lord, Yahweh Bashim mm. Shai, will do nothing, but he revealeth his, serv his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right. So, yeah, the prophets are back, man. Mm -hmm. When you're watching the shows, you know, uh, with the apostles, all right, with the uh, other camp, you know, brothers of the vein of GMS, that's teaching 100% truth, that's teaching the true gospel, Yahweh Bashim Shai. You watching the prophets, and you don't just say that you're a prophet, and, and you know there's no receipts or none. No, the receipts are is what the secrets that the Lord revealed to the prophets, which are what the prophecies. We've been telling you for the longest, and see a lot of times people um they get bent out of shape with the so-called conspiracy theory, right? But now even you know if any brothers can remember back to the John Todd yeah. tapes, right? The John Todd's confessions, okay. which I believe the High Priest Elder Yaquab. He had a tape copy of it. Mm -hmm. I remember Pastor Tahar having a copy of it. Um, you, you yeah. shot, you shot. They were selling it in the main school too. <laughs> but I remember mostly Pastor Tahar going into it, mm -hmm. and um, you know Pastor Gabor mm -hmm. and the rest of the apostles and, and High Priest Elder Yaikwa, okay. and I think High Priest Ariyah might have spoke on it. But nonetheless, with the the John Ty confession tapes, they spoke about how the elites were going to yeah. do the train developments and stuff like that. Okay. So now, one of the main things I want to speak on, which everybody knows about by now, is what happened over there in Ohio with the train derailment that caused an explosion of those toxic chemicals, right? Mm -hmm. Which we believe that was a, a, a Deliber deliberately, mm -hmm. which overall is prophecy, though, you know? But we believe that that was, you know, because of basically the scriptures say in Revelations 12 and 12, right? Okay. The devil's come down with great right. wrath because he knows we have but a short time. So Esau is scrambling and doing everything he can to bring havoc upon people, to bring that stress, to bring that pain, and force people to want to accept the karagma. Okay. All right, which is going to be that's going to be their their uh, solution to all of this. Yeah. All right, and it goes beyond. And, and the thing is with John Todd, matter of fact, Babaka Shah, can you give me? And I'm gonna read the article, but can you give me Psalms, uh, the 64th chapter, Babaka Shah, okay. Bishop yeah. Abba? Yes, sir. Because. We live. This is all prophecy, man. And the reason why we said because look, look what happened. Now they, they're talking about which we're gonna read it. The Ohio River is polluted. You got the people that are. They made a movie called White Noise, and the same thing happened in the movie. Mm. Okay, I, I think I've heard of that movie. I kind of yeah. vaguely remember it, right? Mm -hmm. But um, you know. Now, go ahead. Read what you got, my brother. Read yeah. um, Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 64. 64, verse 2. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Right. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, man. And we've been telling y'all and warning you. So you can't say that you didn't know. There's no excuse, man. We've been warning you at these times. We told you that so-called white man is the devil. We told you that the Lord is only coming back for the Israelites. 
We told you that the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is very important. We've been teaching you and telling you nothing but 100% pure truth. We've been telling you. Mm -hmm. You know, but the majority of Jake ain't listen. Right, they ain't take heed. Because the Lord ain't, well, the Lord got to turn your, your switch on. You got to uh, turn your spirit on, open your spirit on, spirit. In, in other words, right? Yep. Say, now say what you're going to say. spiritual eyes got to be open. He has to open, you know, the Lord has to open it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah, that's right. Shout out to the one, brother. Shabbat. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Mm -hmm. Satan should get an advantage of us, man. You see? Yep. So Satan's going to get the advantage on these other niggas because they're not paying attention. And that goes back to Proverbs, the first chapter, man. You can't say you wasn't told. The prophets was out there, man. You see the apostles week in and week out for years, man. Mm -hmm. Apostle taught like we, like thir year 30, if you will, roughly. Some brothers, 28, 27, 29. Mm -hmm. Apostle taught 40 years straight. Yeah. You got the, the uh, apostles, uh, the uh, King Masha, High Priest Ariyah, mm -hmm. High Priest, High priest Yaquab, Elder uh, Abba Bivens. Mm -hmm. You had those men out there even back then going back. So, <laughs> For a long time, this word's been going out, and now the Lord magnified it to where it's, it's all over the world. So there's no excuse, man. Mm -hmm. See, we pretty much we got our, our spiritual popcorn, if you will, you know, mm -hmm. and we got and we got a drink too. Cause we toast, we yeah, toast yeah, the destruction yeah. in, in, the, in the you know that's right, that's right. In the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai. Yep. We toast the destruction yep. of Esau and the upliftment and the rising <clears throat> of Israel. Abad, yep. Yeah, Abad, Baba, nothing changed. And like I said, we on the job site. So, you know, we, we work, but the Spirit's on us still to do the show. Yep. All right? Yeah, we ain't, yeah, we ain't the, the, the typical Christians that y'all used to, man. All right? Them, them, them slippery, shiny suit, you know, slippery shoe wearing. Nah, the most I ain't called them niggas to deliver his word. Mm -hmm. and, we're, and we're grateful, and we pray that we continue just with you brothers, man. Cool. So now let's go. All right. I'm going to start at verse 1. I'm slacking. Okay. Start at one. Yeah, go for it. Shoot. It says um, Psalms chapter uh, 64 and 1. Hear my voice, O oh my power, and my prayer preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. And my prayer. And, and really, it's power and prayer. We got to yeah. constantly send up them prayers, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right? We got to send up them prayers, man. Yeah, it's a good good one, too, man. You brothers is lighting it up. Lord willing, we get to some of them scriptures on the comment board, too. Yeah. Keep some on deck, you know? Yeah. But you got to send up them prayers because the time that we're in is so weak, uh, wicked and evil. You know, if you don't send up them prayers... Man, you don't, because, hey, every day, you got to send them up all the time, as much as you can. Every day, there's some new shit that's popping off, man. Esau is steadily coming with new diseases and everything, man, you know? Okay. So, yep. you know, go ahead. It says, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. The secret counsel of the wicked, because this has been perpetrated for a long time, man. This is part of the agenda that they have, they had <coughs> hidden now everything is being exposed because we're in the, we at the end. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai taught about that. He said there's nothing that's it that should not be revealed. Be revealed. Right. So we're at the end. So everything is coming up about how these devils really feel about us, man. Mm -hmm. How they really want to take us out. How they really trying to prepare to fight against the Most High, which they're going to get wiped up, man. Yeah. We're going to wipe these devils clean, man. Yep. The secret council of the wicked is going into, you know, the so-called illuminated ones. You know, mm -hmm. the council on foreign relations, trilateral commission, all these secret societies that Esau has, you know, yeah. where, where they make uh, the World Economic Forum. That's another one. They mm -hmm. just had the, the summit in Davos. So they're over there plotting and scheming on how to... And, and you know how much, and it stuff. show you, yeah. and that's why basically the hell with two-thirds of our people, man. Mm -hmm. If you ain't for the truth, then death to you. That's you right. you, you want to follow these motherfuckers? They was over there doing all kind of mm -hmm. foul, uh, satanic, satanic yeah. homosexual Ritual. acts over there, man. And they, they're letting you know they're not even hiding it no more. Before they were being, they, you know, they wouldn't let you know what was going on in the groves. They wouldn't let you know about the hijinks and all that. Mm -hmm. they, now you got the, the, them yeah. sluts. They telling it all. Yeah, these people, these guys over here, yep. they running around with, with transies, mm -hmm. right? Yep. That's what's going on. That's who's running you, man. A bunch of goddamn flower pot trans, trans benders, man. You see? Because the so-called white man... Is a, a straight up homo man. Yeah. All right. He's a, he's a homo by nature. He's all his spirit is not right. He's a silent one. Yeah. The scripture said the spirit that's lifted up in him is not yeah. upright. So this devil is pulling out all of that, that foul bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. There are more uh, uh, temples dedicated to Satan, churches of Satan. Here it is they want to get rid of the Bible, the scriptures, the Holy Bible, right. which this supposed to be um, the constitution of the land, so they say, mm -hmm. right? Yep. It's supposed to be the good book, mm -hmm. the book that they swear in, but now they're moving in what? Straight up Satanism, man. That's right. Straight up Satanism. That's how this devil is rolling, man. That's why we know that we have to end. You out of your fucking mind if you can't see it, but that's because you're not of the elect. Only the elect is going to see these things in these times, man. You see? But it says from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. The insurrection, the cutting from within mm -hmm. of the workers of iniquity. Who's the real workers of iniquity, man? The secret councils that the bishop I Bob was speaking about, man. Mm -hmm. Those are the workers of iniquity, meaning that they what? They sit up there and plan and plot out all of these different uh, maniacal plans and plots to what? To destroy this world <laughs> and to put everybody under the vibration of Satan, man. All right, hey, and shalom to all you. All right, but that's what they do. That's the workers of iniquity, these damn devils, man. And they don't stop. The scriptures tell you that they don't go to sleep. Unless they do with us. Yep. You know? Yep. Verse 3 says, who wet their tongue like a sword. Constantly sharpening their tongue, meaning coming out with more and more policies. You know, okay, we got these new mandates. All right, they got the, the new... Uh, with which they they about they want to replace everybody with straight up robots. Yep. Mostly everything is automated now. There's no real customer service. So they've been doing these things behind the scene while everybody was you know supposed they was ordered to stay inside the crib during the midst of that 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 shit that they put out there. Yep. They were doing all other kind of wickedness, man. And they covered up a lot of wickedness to deceive you people because a lot of you stupid niggas wanted Biden, man. Anybody but Trump. Now look what's coming out about Biden. Biden was the, the man, the one of the worst freaks out there, man. Yeah. Out, he was a part of the Pizza Gate. His son was involved in all kind of Scandal. scandals mm -hmm. with China, uh, uh, sitting there with with little kids. Uh, what do you call it? Sex trafficking. Yeah. Biden knew all about that, man. You see? Yeah, that, that's right, bro. That's a beautiful one, man. Yeah. It's that Joe five and. 13, I got the wrong glasses on, but yep. Yep. Go ahead. It says, um, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Right, so this is how we know about uh, uh, false flags, uh, about different mm -hmm. situations that they create. A lot of people get mad. Oh, real people got, yeah, real crisis act. Crisis act. Or maybe real, because they about sacrificing. Yeah, so they do. So they, to they God's. But it's stage, it's set. You know, it's stage. Mm -hmm. Like, he had the shooting in, like, we, we go on for days. The shooting in uh, Michigan, was it? Yeah. They, and they mm -hmm. promoted that, which the bitch looked damn near like an android. You know, this something's got to happen. Yeah. I survived two shootings in my life. Mm -hmm. I went to Sandy Hook <clears throat> 10 years ago. <laughs> now, it was a shooting right across yeah. the hall. Yeah. I got post-traumatic <laughs> bullshit every time I get upset. Come on, man. We got to do more than prayer. We got to do more than prayers. We got to do legislation. And what's the Come legislation? on, you can't see it. What's the main one they push? B push it. Bring it. I mean, gun, bring it up. Gun legislation. Exactly, Take man. The, the, the right from so the you want to tell me that there's not a conspiracy? To bear arms. Yeah. Oh, you think that this is a coincidence? You believe yeah. these motherfucking fake-ass actors, man? You believe these motherfuckers, man? <laughs> yeah, Come on, wanna, man. They want to disarm the people. So when they roll, they roll on the people. The people are not armed to protect them. Yeah. So it's shit breaking out all over the place. I didn't get to see everything he was talking about in Missouri, but this shit is happening all over the place, man. Mm -hmm. You see, and and it, and it, the like the it, the acting gets worse and worse. So Jake was walking around for three hours, scot free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then now they got the, the other the other the shooter supposed to be you know part of me if it was Missouri, not if I said the wrong city, part of me. But um, and then the, the Jake, you see the Jake that they had. They said, yeah, and his, his uh, Instagram had Bible verses on it. You know, come on, man. Come on. But see, it was Isaiah 59 and um, 19. Mm -hmm. yeah, we know that y'all want to make a move, man. You don't like the fact that through the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, we're declaring the end of your society, man. We're telling you, we've been telling you, and this ain't nothing new. It's just now being publicized to more people. We've been for ages. Like I, I mentioned, the apostles going back, excuse me. 40 years, 30 years, 20 years, some of you brothers coming in 10 years. 
five years. We've been saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmael Shai, you got an ounce of integrity. You know that we stay consistent with the message that the Lord gave us to bring out. That's right. We haven't changed or faulted, man. You see? Mm -hmm. We're saying the same thing, but now, because Habakkuk said at the end, it should surely speak. Mm -hmm. It's speaking. Yep. You can't deny the prophecy. That's why we know. And we just waiting, man. We waiting. We, we patiently waiting, man. That's right. Herein is the faith the, uh, the patience and the faith of the saints. You see? Mm -hmm. From the head elder apostles on down, man. Go ahead, my brother. Okay. It says, Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Even bitter words, man. It's going, into, going into their legislations, yeah. too, that they pass. You know, they pass, uh, you know, same-sex marriage. Oh, my you God. You know? Now they're trying to pass uh, pedophilia. Yeah. You know, zoophilia. All of these things that they're, that's going into their legislations that they passed, and and their blasphemies are getting worse every every day too. You know, every day they they they're speaking against the Bible. Pretty soon they're gonna outlaw the, the Bible. Yeah, yeah. That's the ultimate goal for them. And uh, these niggas are not ready, man. Mm -hmm. These niggas are not fucking ready, man. You niggas are sitting up there, uh, worried about fucking Rihanna getting, you know, having another hatchling or whatever the case is. You're not ready, man. You're not ready. What if you hear about Rihanna dying in a plane crash with a bit? You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just saying, these, we in them times where things are going to happen. Judgment. Yeah. You, judgment time. You, you constantly still got athletes, perfectly fine, healthy athletes are dropping dead, man. Mm -hmm. You see? These niggas are not fucking ready. They're not paying attention to what's going down. You know, this uh, brother that we know that we work with or whatever earlier, mm -hmm. which I didn't, there's so much shit you can't even catch everything. He told me about the Black Hawk that cry. I didn't know about it. Then I read it. The whole crew died. Mm -hmm. We're in a time where we're in the time of the judgment, judgment, man. Yep. The Lord's judgment, man. Here it is. Y'all still <laughs> sitting up there following the bullshit. That's all y'all care about. Social media. Right? Social media has been nothing but a distraction from the judgment that's coming upon you. That's why a lot of death, death becomes you and you ain't even aware of it, man. You see? A lot of you don't understand what the Bible means when, it, when King David, and they'll say to some, some of the churches, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil. Right. What do you think the valley of the shadow of death is speaking about? Right? Yeah. Let's talk about right here. Right here. A, a so-called America. But yeah, you're talking about no, it's so much opportunity, it's free. You can't, I don't like people who say you can't, you know? Mm -hmm. I got a scripture for Yeah, that's right. In, in Turkey, the most high is visiting the world, man. Yep. Uh, what's that? Second um as was uh the ninth chapter? Okay. But go ahead, read, read what you got. I, I grabbed that. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. says, The just Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is in the midst thereof. And that's how you know you've seen all these chariot sightings. I mean, some of those are Project Blue Beam, but the real chariots of the, the Heavenly Father are there too. You know, the angels. Those are the angels. You know, the real the real uh so called UFOs. Right, and Esau can't touch it. They can't. They, they can't, can't do nothing with the with the chariots. They ain't man. gonna capture one. They ain't gonna yeah. them, shoot nothing down. They can't. They can't mess with the Lord. So it says, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. It says, every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. Right. So every morning he brings his judgment to light, meaning the prophecies come to pass. Everything that he he spoke by the ancient prophets prophets. You know, from thousands of years ago all the way to now, it's coming to pass. It says, Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So mm -hmm. the unjust, the unjust is not gonna understand. The wicked scriptures say the wicked shall not understand. You know, it's only for the elect, for the repentant, righteous brothers that the, the Lord have sealed, you know, through Yahweh Shah. So um that was it on that. Oh, okay, know. um, you, you yeah. get, I'm trying to pull up. Okay, I'll, Second I'll, Ezra, nine, you got the apocryphal? Yeah, I got the apocryphal. I'm trying to pull up Second Ezra 9 and 1 for whatever reason. Okay, I got you. You know, I got to get some better Bible apps or whatever. 9 and 1? Yeah, they, they, you know, they got, I mean, I still got an Android, but they got me with this bullshit, <laughs> you know, this bullshit Apple iPhone and, and the Bible apps is not, they ain't hit. Okay. Or it's not the access, at least I don't know how to. 
you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you got to just bust that out real quick. Yep. Second, about the shot. second Ezra's nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That's speaking about the time we're in now. Mm -hmm. And again, you might hear me bring this scripture out almost every day. This is, I mean, there's tons of scriptures you could bring out over and over again because everything is speaking right now, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Go ahead, my brother. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of... Stop! Earth, the turkey. The brother just put it out. It's 30, now it's up to 3,500, the death toll. Mm -hmm. That's the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Shah. We living in the times of judgment, man. The Lord is bringing judgment, man. We can't say it enough, man. Mm -hmm. We can't say it enough. That's why the Spirit compels us, you know, to, to, to teach and, and prophesy and, and because we can't say it enough, man. And at the end of the day, this is oh, it's over 40K debt. The number just keep going. Because you got people, babies trapped under rubble and everything. And we was talking about this earlier, but see what a lot of people don't realize is that in a lot of them Turkey, Turkish motherfuckers, you got Jake a lot, it's a lot of Turkey, don't get it twisted. And seeing that's the truth, that's the beauty of this thing, is that through the Spirit of the Lord, we understand that our people, the real Israelites, so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Ricans, Mexican, of, of Negro and Indian descent, were scattered throughout all the other nations on the whole earth. Because the Lord said that he was, would do that. That's where you get the true diaspora, man. The diaspora. And there was more than one diaspora, if I'm pronouncing it the right way. Yep. There was more than one. So our people are amongst them. But, but now a lot of them actually, Turkish too, a lot of them go back to the Ottoman mm -hmm. church too. Yep. So we're not, you know, negating that because they're they them de same damn devils. All right? And the Lord is bringing judgment upon the whole earth, man. Yep. Straight up judgment, man, getting served. Go ahead. Well, it says, um, uh -huh. <clears throat> Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And uproars of the people in the world, man. Yep. China is ready to attack America. Mm -hmm. Russia is ready to attack America. Yep. Iran is ready to attack Israel, which is going to lead them into a war with America. And there's other countries, man. That's getting even the, the allies, as the scriptures say, right? They are gonna come up against this place. Yep. So we living in those times where we are gonna see. That's why we're seeing all these different news articles. Because why? Yahweh said that this generation shall in no wise pass yep. to all these things be fulfilled. Yep. We in the time. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right, and we understand. So when we see, like, okay, I got this, um, I'm, I'm going to read this real quick, which our brothers know about already. All right, this is what happened in Ohio. I don't know if y'all could pick pick up on it, but I'm going to read the article. All right, from this one's from CBS News. There's tons of articles on it. It says, thousands of dead fish and contamination in waterways. How the Ohio train derailment is affecting the environment. So that's how we know that this thing was, we believe it was done deliberately. It wasn't no coincidence. It wasn't no accident. Right. Right? Right. Out of the blue. Out of the blue, yeah. Yeah, train derails and yeah. destroys the Ohio River. Mm -hmm. That's not no little, that ain't a little, uh, little. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Accident. Uh, what's that? Lake Camp Crystal, Camp Crystal <laughs> Lake. There ain't no Camp Crystal Lake, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no little brook flowing in your backyard. This is the Ohio River, man. Okay, and so, and what happened is the people that live around there, from all the, the gas from the explosion, basically it, it affected the livestock. You had this one chick, she was showing how it destroyed her chickens. So now watch, the price of eggs is probably going to shoot back up again. Yeah. You know, maybe it's going to be $30 for, for a dozen of eggs. Who knows? Mm -hmm. This devil is playing them games, man. You know? Oh, man, that, yeah, that's another powerhouse. So anyway... Reading on, it says thousands of anim thousands of animals have died in East Palestine, Ohio. You got the, the other one, actual Palestine in the Middle East going down too. So that's kind of you know I found that ironic. Mm -hmm. 
when I read this uh, article. But it said, in the aftermath of the train derailment that sent numerous hazardous substances into the surrounding area. Come on, man. They knew what, what time it was. Mm -hmm. Official said, officials said on Tuesday that in the immediate days following the February 3rd incident, there were 3,500 dead fish as local waterways, including the Ohio River, became uh, contaminated. It says, during the incident, 38 train cars derailed including several cars that were carrying hazardous materials that each pose a set of their own health risks. And like the chick said, when she was right, she said in a matter of hours, it made all of the, the chickens, they all they was running around lively before it happened. And she had, you know, the video camera watching them. Mm -hmm. And then you see them like, like start moving slow. And they all went like inside the coop and just basically laid out and gave up the spirit. So like she said, if that happened, in a couple of um, a couple of hours, mm -hmm. imagine what it's going to do to the people that are living around it. Yep. You see, again, Revelations twelve and twelve, the devil has come down with great wrath. When are you going to understand that this government don't give a damn about you, so-called <clears throat> Americans, man? All right, they the, you want to talk about the the, the cartels, the, the uh, mm -hmm. terrorists, the um, yeah. rebels, or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. That's them. Okay, but they, they, they paint everybody else as the boogeyman. As the boogeyman. Yeah, the bad guy, yeah. But the real bad guy is, is, is the devil. The devil. <laughs> and seeing the curtain is being lifted up on the wizard, the wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. All right, and the Lord is seeing, seeing to it, man. Okay, you got more on that? That scripture? Yeah, let me see. Yep. It says, um, for as like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Mm -hmm. So the, the end is manifest by the prophecies coming to pass. You know, the, the prophecies that the Lord spake is coming to pass right now. There's no, nothing Esau could do with, against it. Nothing the other nations could do. You know, it's gonna have to come to pass. Yeah, it's gonna. And, and that thing in Ohio is a small thing, yep. but it, it's a. It shows you. You know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, and, and what they're trying to do is, and you can't trust nothing that this devil says. They said, well, at least they're not extinct or this, they're not endangered. So that means what? They are endangered. Mm -hmm. Most times, whatever this government or the devil says, right. go with the opposite of what they say. And you Esau, know? Esau has a, um, a term that they, that, or um, a technique that they like to use is called order ab chaos. It means order out of chaos. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they're... The elites are, are deliberately push, pushing all this chaos in the world to force the people to accept the, the NWO and the Karagma. Yeah. You know, that's ultimately... That's what, what, it, that's what it boils down, down to. to. Yeah. That's what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. and, and we see it clear as day, man. Yep. And that's why the scriptures say that day, the Lord, when the Lord comes, it's going to be like a thief in the night. The day should come upon you as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, huge butterfly effect. Yep, yep. <laughs> and, and right. Oh, you got more on that? I mean, the whole chapter. Is yeah, yeah. Now go ahead. All right. It says, go for it. Like I said, this is you know, it was late. I mean, we was working in all that stuff. Well, actually, this brother was doing the majority of the work at this particular time. <laughs> but um, the spirit guys said, you know what? Before you know, mm -hmm. hey, because the scriptures say um, cry, cry aloud in the night. Okay. You know, and, and limitations. Then the Lord said, give them no rest. So as much as you can through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, continue to sit there and, and, and put that heat heat out there, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Put that heat to the to these devils, man. Yeah, the cry went out at night. Yeah, Apostle yeah. Gabal, that's heavy. Because yeah. Apostle Gabal just was doing the, the uh, lesson yeah. about the trimming of your lamps and everything. So that's heavy. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's spiritual. Everything is all spiritual, man. And the Lord got all of us connected in the spirit, and we're anxiously waiting for you. How about Shimei was shot, man? That's right. So that's heavy, man. Go ahead, my brother. Yes, sir. It says, um, verse 6, 2 Ezra 9 and 6. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works. Right. And like, like the old creation. Yep. The creation was heavy, man. The way the most, and that's why. Esau would never be able to touch the Most High or touch an angel or a chariot. The Most High is too way too high powered, man. Yeah. Esau is is on the is a, a small like the scripture says a small dust 
of the, of the balance, man. Like the most high said, um, as my ways are higher than as the heaven earth, is, yep, heaven is higher than earth. Than the earth. So, so my, my ways, ways higher than your ways. Yeah. yeah. And with all this technology, because yeah, okay, Esau, they, they figured out how to do the industrial revolution, mm -hmm. right? How to, you know, which that came from the most side too. Yeah. See everything, and that's what these devils are failing to realize. Everything that they got is the most side. Job 9 yeah. and 24. Yeah. They failing to realize that. Uh, what's that? Isaiah the 10th chapter. Isaiah you know, they're chapter. thinking actually that they came up with all. So now we're at the end, and the technology is failing. Even all that, don't worry about all that robot shit. Well, at least the, the myth that's serving the Lord, because why? The most I gonna let them robot dogs bite the shit out of them wicked ass niggas, man. Two thirty. Nigga walking around talking about, go ahead, you can take the, the, the RFID or I mean the CHIP. You know, niggas talking about take the jump shot. Look at people dropping dead uh, 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 on a, a big a big scale. Yeah. Healthy people. Athletes. Yeah. Athletes. High, high, high Entertainers. Uh, they talk yeah. about uh, uh, what's that nigga name? Um, pasta news? No, uh, uh, True Goy or whatever. <laughs> Which is supposed to be what yogurt spelled backward, yeah, backwards? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. some weird buck. I mean, they got yeah. you know this shit was okay. dope when they was dropping it yeah, back then. So, yeah. But when you think about a lot of these hip hop, first of all, don't listen to hip hop for no true knowledge, with because yeah. these niggas in hip hop don't know who the hell they are, man. They still pushing falsehoods, mm -hmm. uh, black Africanism, Islam. That's yeah. none of that is, is going to uh, prevail and save you. Yeah. All right, that's not going to save you. The Lord ain't dealing with none of that. But the, the dude. From De La Soul, I, I believe it was True Boy, right? Yeah. And they, yeah, some back. Come on, De La Soul. Mm -hmm. De La Soul that's still a top hip hop act, right? Yeah. But they got fucked over dealing with Esau, mm -hmm. right? But they they're not gonna tell you. And, and I, I don't have the receipts, but I'm pretty sure he took the jabby jab, mm -hmm. just like the all the rest of the other so called entertainers and everything. Because they and they forced him. Because some of them was like, "Nah, I want to take." Some had a little sense like that's a foreign mm -hmm. object to put in my body, right? But guess what? These people that are that's all they know how to do is, is go in front of a crowd and rock a crowd. So if you want to keep making some money to pay them bills, to go on tour, to go on tour and travel overseas, yeah, you gotta, gotta take, take the jab. Gotta take it, yeah. They said they fought because they said DMX died of fentanyl, mm -hmm. but there was rumors that he, he didn't want to take the jab, but then he he just folded so and he, took it. So you go on tour to get that bread. And then that's when he, so, you know, a lot of you guys out there that was teaching and pushing that, you want to look stupid, man. Mm -hmm. All right? The scripture say, never trust thy enemy, man. Right? And then, um, it, how the scripture goes, seek not none of the oppressor's ways. Yeah, seek none of his ways. Seek none of his ways. Mm -hmm. You see? And we, and you can't say you didn't know. We've been out here, man. Starting with the head elder apostles on down. To you brothers that's in the fold now, we've been out here constantly warning Jake, but Jake, you know, Jake uh, uh like to be a slave, man. Yeah. They rather trust in, in oppression. They rather trust in what Esau got to say. So that's why now Jake is gonna be in a pine box. All right. Well, go ahead. You got more? Okay. That's Psalms. Okay. Psalms sixty four and four. It says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly, do they shoot at him and fear not? That's that's the agenda that they're doing now. They they got the thing Operation Warp Speed, you know, because mm -hmm. they know the Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back with the angels to destroy him and his kingdom. So that's why they're moving fast, you know. That's why they you know they all hands on deck. Any any way they can come and attack the Lord's people, that's what they're coming with. Yeah, because you wake up and you find like about ten or twenty different prophecies just happen, <laughs> yeah. whether it be from uh. Russia moving in or, or, or threatening America. Mm -hmm. uh, China, China threatening them. Yep, they got you know? ships, ships off the coast of you know American coast. Sub, you know nuclear submarines. You and, know, and that thing that America basically they've been playing war games, man. Yep, they've been doing tit for tat. But that's the Lord because that go back to Isaiah the thirteenth chapter, man. Mm -hmm. They said the Lord of hosts the must serve the host of the battle. The host yeah. of the battle. Mm -hmm. So they they put the spirit on. China sent a balloon. America shoot, shoot it down eventually. Yeah. Then China say, hey, what you doing? That's all, you know, boom, boom. You know? Yeah, provoking. Yeah, provoking them. They're pointing the finger. Like niggas, like, you know, the oldest trick in the book. You see like a foul nigga, old, you know, back in the days. Yeah. Old niggas seeing a regular innocent Jake. Mm -hmm. So the nigga want to start something. Mm -hmm. Nigga, what? 
You get the fuck you said about my mother? Mm-hmm. But I would. Yeah. Like, fuck, yeah. I don't even know your mind. Say, yeah. Nah, nah, fuck that. You talking about my mother? You know, then he might haul off and yeah. cap you or some shit, jay you. But that's what was happening. The most I <coughs> got, got these nations taunting Esau, taunting America, man. Yeah. All right, and then on top of it, America is crumbling from within. That's that insurrection. All right, the Lord spoke about an insurrection. Okay, so now the, the, the government, the so-called presidency and all that is being proven as the, a bigger joke. It just becomes more and more comedy, man. I don't think really nobody take a, a creepy, sleepy Joe a button seriously, man. Mm -hmm. All right? They, they, they uh, respect Donald Trump more than they respect Joe Biden. And you niggas wanted Joe Biden. <laughs> Let's not forget. I got something real quick. Quickly. Oh yeah, it's Isaiah. Hey, well, in the words of the bishop to Zawa, it ain't got. It, it don't have to be that quick. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah fourteen. Yep. I'll start at verse four. Uh -huh. It says that thou shalt take up this proverb mm. against the king of Babylon mm. and say, right, the king of Babylon. Babylon represents America, man. All right, we've been telling you that for the longest. When you, according to the scriptures, man, America is Babylon the Great. So it says thou shalt take up this. This what? Proverb. Proverb against the king of Babylon. And say, how hath the oppressor ceased? How has the oppressor ceased? Because you go back 40 years, 40 years ago, it was unheard of a Moabite yeah. hopping off to America. Yeah, that's right. Telling we look, we gonna fuck, you know, we own you, we gonna do this, that, and the third. That's right. We ain't hear no fucking Moabites, you mm -mm. know? Mm -mm. Now Moab is talking shit. Yep. Go ahead. How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? Right, the golden city, because why? Everything is slowing down, all right? America's being shut down. It's crumbling. It's yeah. crumbling, yeah. all right? And even with the works, you got, that's why you got Silicon Valley uh, shutting down. Mm -hmm. You got all these stupid, simple-ass niggas that thought you had good, great jobs, mm -hmm. these cushion jobs, yep. making benefits. making all kind of money, not doing no work. 401ks. Be, being on a goddamn phone, mm -hmm. right? Or just sitting behind a desk, you thought you was over all these other niggas because you got the four hundred one k's. Well, I got a four hundred one k. Stop. They they, they they invest in. Uh, they give me money and put it into the stocks and take half my money and that sits there. I can't touch it, but it builds up. So, oh yeah, how's it gonna build up when it crashes? You see, yep. and you got a lot of niggas that are into these stocks that like that's gonna really save them. That's because y'all don't have no faith. You don't trust in your how about shimmy I was shy, man. Yep. And hey, the Lord is going to, just like Noah. And, and Yahweh Shai said it shall be as in the days, the days times of Noah. Noah. Yep. Right? Men were eating, drinking, drinking giving the marriage. Giving right? You still got niggas all worried about getting married and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which marriage is bullshit. All it really is, if you, it's a business deal. Ain't got nothing to do with love. It's contractual. It's a contract, it's a contract man. Contract. A so binding. business, a binding business contract. It's a binding contract. You know? Yep. Which, you know, I'll just say that if you were smart, you would know how to use it to your benefit. Marriage ain't got nothing to do with no fucking love, man. That's all these hoes do so they can bind you and get you all fucked up. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know? But now there is, a, a, you know, I'm just speaking honestly. If you, But, you know, Eve ain't on that level. You know what I'm saying? Eve ain't on that level because... This, basically, what this devil done brought upon all of us is different contracts. Mm -hmm. So you don't even realize, like even having a driver's license, yeah. your um unconscious, I would call uh, uh, uh conscientious object, objector, right? Or like yeah, basically, you you didn't realize you you signed a contract. Basically, you gave up your rights. Pretty right. Much. So um, now that's why they're able to sit there and, and send you tickets in the mail, mm -hmm. saying, "Oh, you didn't come to a complete stop." At this stop sign, you are fined three hundred dollars. You ran a red light. You're fined five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That's why they're able to do that shit. Mm -hmm. And see, and Jake is just simple, man. Jake just to sit there and let these women sit there. And here it is. You wait a minute. You sitting on top of the world, and if you were a so-called celebrity, you high up there. You got millions and billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be getting fucking married, man. You shouldn't mm -hmm. even be dealing with the black woman. To be honest with you. <laughs> 
At least you're not the black woman for America, man. Go get you a um foo bitch like Eddie Murphy was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Go find you a bitch with a bone in her nose. You really want to, oh, okay, you got to have a black woman. Yeah. Go find you a bitch with a goddamn bone in her nose, man. They don't want half. That can't read. Yeah, they ain't going to talk. I want half. I want half, Eddie. I want half, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Murphy tried to school niggas, man. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, man, all that shit's going to be burnt up anyway, man. <laughs> Go ahead, my brother. Isaiah 14 and 5. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, has broken the staff of the wicked. <laughs> yeah, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what have you done for me? Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, so, boy. so the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked. You see his power, you know, his power deteriorating, you know? Especially Babylon the Great. This this chapter is talking about Babylon the Great, specifically, you know, which is America. Like like you were going into Biden, yeah. you know, no, no, no other Governments respect respect President Biden. You yeah, know? they look. Uh, even even Donald Trump said it the other day. He said, "He said America is, oh. is, is viewed as being so weak." Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, hey, I was about to say that, but I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember. Bro said so Eddie Murphy got a white woman. I thought I was like, wait a minute, because he had the, uh, the Puerto Rican bitch, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Well, Michael Jordan got the Puerto Rican he had chick. The spice chick. The and then, spice girl. Man, he got the hell away from who's it? Scary spices, Something cinnamon like spice. One of them spices. Yeah, yeah. Right. But now there's brothers in here that that so-called me. I look, if you are the elect, you the elect. So don't don't get it twisted. All right, don't get it twisted. You know, some of y'all probably came, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the main thing is serving your how about Shimmy was shy. And if you could get away from the, that situation, get away from it. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you ain't in that you don't don't, don't fuck put, with don't it. Don't put yourself. Don't put yourself in that, you know. Watch out for the wiles of the devil. All right. But overall, the scriptures say he that pleases the most high shall escape. Yep. So if you have the elect, you have the elect. You know, plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? But that that's heavy, man. It's fire, fire Marshall Bill looking motherfucker talking about Joe Biden. But um, I I, I think I, I thought Eddie Murphy didn't have a black. He got a white woman. Mm -hmm. And most of these jakes that are doing good, so called doing good, most time there's not a black woman behind them because they went they been there done that already. You know, really. The black woman is the reason he's not doing good. <laughs> right, with well, most of these niggas, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, a lot of homeless people, you know, because you know, oh man, did them wrong, took took everything, in yep. the, the settlement. You and know? you was a weak ass nigga. Mm -hmm. Scripture said, "Give not thy strength to woman." That's right. All right, you don't give your strength to, to no damn woman, man. The Lord said, "Remember thyself, men." But there's only going to be an elect that's going to be able to uh, deal with that. Yeah, that's right. It's good scripture. You know, they that are, they that have wives be as though they, they have none. So if you're dealing with a woman, because it's not, don't think it's not wicked to be dealing with a woman, whatever. It's not wicked, right? I mean, brothers have their opinions and what they think is better. And certain things work for other brothers and it might not work for you. Mm -hmm. But if you do, the scriptures, the apostle Paul, he said, look, if you want to get some pussy, yeah. you want to sit there, you know, if you're burning and shit, ain't nothing wrong. Better because you got that. brothers of, of different ages and everything like that. Hell, the apostles even tell you when they were younger men, they was out there pluking in the words of apostle for God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. they was out there putting it down. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the older you get, which is true, yeah. unless you like thinking about thinking with that head down there, you're thinking more with this head. Right. You know, but now say if you want to get some skins or you want to, hey, as long as you don't put it before the work of your how about you how shot it, like the apostle Paul said, you ain't sin. Mm -hmm. But if you deal with a woman, be as though you ain't got a woman. Right? They didn't have wives be as though they had none. You know? That's the difference, man. Because we ain't gonna we ain't gonna get like the Catholic church and say, yeah. look, brothers, don't be dealing with no women. Yeah. You know? And they hear these brothers is burning, but you gonna do what they supposed to deal with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The reason why the most I made the women for you <coughs> for you to pop, deal with them. Yeah. It's just that these hoes are so goddamn wicked, man. You you can't you gotta watch all of them, man. But again, the scriptures say, he that pleases the most side shall escape her. All right. But anyway, let's, go, let's get back to what you got, my brother. It says, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, have broken the staff of the wicked mm. and, and the scepter of his of the rulers. So their, their, their power structure, their power has been, been broken, man. The Lord has been slowly breaking down Babylon the Great, which is America, you know. Now all these other countries like Russia, China, you know, um, India, Pakistan, Iran, you know, they have nuclear capability now. Mm -hmm. All right, they got hypersonic missiles. They got higher, you know, more advanced technology than than America has. 
America, actually, America's playing catch up now, you know, because those hypersonic missiles, they, they don't even go outside of the atmosphere. They stay underneath and they, they glide. They're, they have that glide technology. They can get here in like 15, 20 minutes. Hmm. So it says, he who smoked the people in wrath, right? Who's that talking about? Esau, so-called white man, the devil. He smoked, that's why all nations on the planet Earth hate him and he knows it. Mm -hmm. All right? He said, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He never let up. He never let up, man. Over there bombing, bombing other countries, putting sanctions on, on them. All right? Putting no fly zones in, in their in their sovereign land, stealing their natural resources. You know, the track record goes on and on. You know, the scriptures say he cannot be satisfied, he can never have enough. It says, um, so he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Right? That's the, the time we're coming to. Or now, you know, the so-called white man is gonna be persecuted. Yeah, and nobody yeah. gonna feel sorry for him because <laughs> all the dirt that he did to everybody is coming back, coming back upon him. His own head. You got some real quick? Yes, sir. If I may. This is uh second Ezra chapter 16, verse 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia, woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourself with cloth cloths of sack and hair, be well your children, and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. And that's what's happening, man. Yeah. You got these school shootings, these mass shootings, mm -hmm. right? Which, of course, we believe a lot of it is staged, right? right? Because Esau wants to push his agenda, mm -hmm. right? But that's what you have happening. And the Lord said that. This is judgment from the Most High. Mm -hmm. It says, a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Because mm -hmm. remember, a lot of y'all smoldly said to uh, crucify Yahweh Shai, the Lord. Blood you know, and let us say it again. His blood be upon us and our, and children. our children. So now the most high said, the sword is sent upon you. Mm -hmm. And who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Which going into America overall, because why? America was never going to be this, uh, you know, like it wasn't in glory days. It was a, right. a uh, like the, it was the, the queen of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it was no never uh, no blemishes on America at one point. Right. You know, everybody thought that you know people in America was all good and, and holy and this that and the third. Mm -hmm. America was never going to be established as a kingdom on this earth. America right. was here for a small, uh, like the Lord said, a short season. Short season. Yep. All right, a short season. So it says, uh, "A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it?" And overall, the ultimate fire is going to be those nuclear missiles, man. And the chariots. Right. Well, the chariots are going to get busy, too. Yeah. They're going to get busy, too. But once those missiles hit ground zero, that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, the elect is going to be in the chariots looking down upon, upon the lake of fire, which is America. That's right. And, then, and the rest of the other countries that get hit and blitz with those missiles. Mm -hmm. and those missiles are going to hit every last one of their targets. That's right. They're not going to miss. There ain't going to be no intercepting. Right. Missiles and Esau's defense. defense. Hell, they don't got defense for these little bullshit that is missiles, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? It said, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? So the Lord is allowing these devils to come up with all these different plagues. <coughs> this type of yep. plague, that type of plague. Yep, pestilence is plagues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Lord is allowing them to do that because that's prophecy. It said, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? You see? Ain't no scientist, ain't no Will Smith, I am legend type nigga yeah, come, come and create a, create a cure. No, it, the most side put, now they like, oh, everybody, 30% got this disease. 100% people, people got the, you know, the, the crown royale. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why they got rid of all the mandates. We don't got a, no more masks, this, that, and the third, because why? They feel like they affected. We didn't get, they didn't give this person the jab. With a person that's next to him got the jab, so it's gonna emit from him and, and, and get that's how they look at it. You know what I'm saying? Contaminate them. It's gonna contaminate them. Mm -hmm. So they don't put out all these, it's not no coincidence. Everybody got the same um symptoms of, of these different things that are happening, mm -hmm. especially in different towns and different areas, man. Okay, because and that's America. When you go back into the history of America, man, they have a bloody history, man. Yeah. 
All right, when they were sitting there, they were giving people hepatitis. They would take, they had a lot of different, if you look into it, they had a lot of different, um, what they would call asylums. Sometimes they call them insane asylums. They would have neighborhoods, right, that are secluded. And they had a bunch of them up here in the Northeast and Connecticut and throughout, I'm sure in other areas where they would have so-called retarded kids that they knew that they were going to be retarded they put a certain amount of mercury and, and lead and shit in the water system and everything, fluoride. And, mm -hmm. So they knew it was, it was a, basically they were, it was a science experiment. You know, and then they would um they'd be retarded, this, that, and the third. They would subjugate them, put them into a certain ward. Some of the parents would give them up or whatever. And they would sit there and have them in the most deplorable situations, man. All right? And matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna I'm bring one I'm bring an article. Go ahead, bring out bring out what you got, my brother. This is uh Ezekiel 35 and 5, but the point is in verse 6. It mm -hmm. says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred mm. and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, right? That's going into Esau, Edom, you know. They have they've had a perpetual hatred uh, against their brother. We are their brother, you know. Jacob and Esau were brothers, but you know. Esau always had the perpetual or continual hatred for us, you know, because he knows that we're eventually going to rule over him <laughs> and there's nothing he could do about it, right? It says, um, and I shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end, right? So this is the point. It says, therefore, as I live, save the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's all right. Um, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you look at it like what you said earlier, has made me think about, about mm -hmm. it. It said, go into his track record. Look at the, the bloody history that he's had. You know, throughout the whole world. Everybody knows his track record. How did they get America? Yeah. You know, they, they killed the Native Americans. They robbed and murdered. They robbed, robbed Native and murdered. American Indians. You yeah. know, how did the, the, the so-called Negroes get here? Mm -hmm. You know, the so what did they do to the so-called... Um, there wasn't Latino. no cruise ship they yeah. took over here. Right. The so-called um, Aztecs and the Inca, Incas and the Mayans, which are yeah. the Latin tribes, you know? Now, look, at, they, look at this. Oh, it's like, yeah. No, no. Now, check this out. This, um, this, uh, in Willowbrook, Willowbrook, in, in, uh, Willowbrook State School in New York. All right? And you can look this up. Like, we, because a lot of times they think that we just be saying shit out of our ass. No, through the Spirit of the Lord, the Lord be sending us information. All right? But I'm going to play this, a little clip from this, just to show you the type of shit that this dealt, see, this, this country don't give a fuck about even their own, you see? But you still got niggas that got hope in it, right? The American dream, you know? Because why? They might be eating. They might got little situations going on, not realizing they about to lose it all, man. Yep. They about to lose it all, you see? So you're going to lose it. Why not lose it, lose everything for the sake of gaining your house shot, why not which forsake, is life? Why not forsake this world? If you want this world, you're not about life. Right. You're about death. Yahweh Shai said, they that, that hate me love death. That's right. But now this is part of the track, the long track record of the so-called white man. Check it out. See if I can get some volume to it. One of the wars here at Willowbrook and tells newsmen of the horror he'd seen inside. He pleaded then for an overhaul of a system that allowed <laughs> children to live in a snake pit. But that was way back in 1965 and somehow we'd all forgotten. The doctor invited me to see the conditions he was talking about, so unannounced and unexpected by the school administration, we toured building number six. The doctor had building warned me six. that it would be bad. It was horrible. There was one attendant for perhaps 50 severely and profoundly retarded children. Children. Lying on the floor naked and smeared with their own feces, they were making a pitiful sound. A kind of mournful wail that it's impossible for me to forget. Yeah. This is what it looks like, this is what it sounded like, but how can I tell you about the way it smelled? It smelled of filth, it smelled of disease, and it smelled of death. 
And there was a study at Willowbrook, which was a state-run institution for children with uh, retardation. And in that case, it yeah, was... Yeah, so if, if you get a chance, uh, look up Willow, Willowbrook School uh, Hepatitis. And Willow, basically, they were trying... That's when they was experimenting with hepatitis in that school back in 1965. I don't know the, the actual name, but I know it's a... It's a clip about uh, Willowbrook, and eventually they shut it down. So there's plenty of these different type of uh, wards, uh, asylums that they did. So this shows you what you're dealing with. Even when you deal with the VA, right, which you all know, that they don't give a shit about, the, especially the veterans. Jake, the Jake veterans. Yeah. When you go in there, uh, most of them have, like, and, and the, they don't let you really come. I remember I had to do deliveries. I used to do deliveries back in the days. And I went, I had to do a delivery in the VA, but you're not really supposed to go into the basement floor. So by accident, I went down there. I was like, what the fuck is that? Because that's where they do all the experiments, all the, uh, they got animals, the lab rats, all this. This is what this devil does. So how do you think you're going to get a fair shake? What you talk about, you going to court and, and seeking justice, man. That's why the Most High is going to allow two thirds of our people to die here, man. Because they're not turning to your Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You know? Turn into their power. Yeah, look, brothers catch hell with the VA. Hell yeah, man. Tons of brothers that deal with the VA be going through hell, man. I got family members I know. You know, that's how I know about a lot of that shit, too. Yeah. Right? They got to... And, and it's different for... I mean, some crackers go through the shit, too. But in certain areas, mm -hmm. you know, you know, the crackers, they, they have it easy. You know what I'm saying? But, man, we, we in the time, man, we at the end, we at the end, we at the end. Every demon in hell is being released. Yeah. That's why you got God. Hey, the scriptures, uh, what's that? In Timothy, the spirit speak of expressively. Yep. Right? In the latter times, some should depart from the faith. So you got so that's why you gotta really take this truth serious, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that video, um, the one that Apostle Gabar did, I mean, well, numerous, you know, apostles is constantly doing videos and, and trying to keep brothers in a serious mindset. Don't just don't let mm -hmm. don't let uh don't let it get to your head or don't get lost in the sauce. It's because, you know, some brothers got to do, you know, mm -hmm. more business in this world than others or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, you you know, don't don't get caught up. Don't let shit pass you, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't, because the scriptures say, we know that the day the Lord come as a thief in the night. Because when all these things happen and Jake still ain't ready, man, they not prepared, you know? They they're looking, yeah. they're caught off guard. They're looking for the smooth way out. There's no smooth way. All right, the scriptures say, enter you in at the, the straight gate. All right? But um, I don't know if you got anything to wrap it up. Yeah, hey, this was like an impromptu through the spirit. So, you know, we pray brothers are fed and edified. And as always, give all great praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shimmy, I was shy. By Shimmy, Kako, Dash, Ka, Halal, Yahweh by Shimmy, I was shy. And if you say Shalom to you, sincere Akim. Yahweh by Shimmy, I was shy. Shalom. Shalom, Akim. Shalom, Kings. Yes, sir.